What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. So with all the new laws legalizing marijuana all over the country, it appears that people seem to think it's really good for you. People are talking about all the therapeutic benefits. Now, it all comes down to application. There are applications for marijuana use, for cannabis use. But what does the data say? So the naysayers say it's not good for your brain. Makes you lazy, makes you aloof, makes you... Lose short-term memory. It's crazy what they say it does. So actually, science to the rescue, my friends. Science to the rescue. I'm going to go over this study with you guys. But before I do, I want you to like this video, subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell, and go to tigerfitness.com and buy some MTS Nutrition Crea Pure Creatine or some of the other thousands of products we have on the site. But I digress. Let's get into this study. So you see this study right now. I'm showing it to you. It's from the Journal of American Medical Association. It is a very good study. And I wanted to read all about it, tell you all about it, and give you some of my opinions. So this is about brain function and cannabis use. Exactly what the science is saying based on the most current data. So this is a new study in the Journal of American Medical Association in 2025, and it dives into how both recent and lifetime cannabis youth affects your brain function. Over a thousand young adults were studied using MRI scans while completing cognitive tasks. So let's break down what exactly they found. So there are a few key study findings, and I'm going to go over each of them. Then we can discuss. Number one, those who had used cannabis more than a thousand times in their lifetime showed reduced brain activation in critical regions, which shows you that, hey, dose matters. If you sparked up a doobie once in college, you're probably okay. But if you did it every night for nine years, it might be an issue. Might be an issue. Areas affected were the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. That's where you gain information, right? Anterior insula, medial prefrontal cortex, all key for working memory. See, I always use this thing when I'm um, talking about coaching, right? So we, re we do things repetitively in coaching. We do the same movements over and over because that becomes repetitive. Repetitive is, basal, is your basal ganglia acting. Whereas new movements, that's your frontal cortex. That's working memory, right? Passive memory, working memory, passive working, passive working. Got it. Working memory impact. So heavy cannabis users with working memory tasks compared to non-users. So they struggled with these working memory tasks. Whereas people who didn't use weed were like, I'm, I'm good. People with weed were like, uh, I don't get it. So this effect remained even after accounting for alcohol, nicotine, and early cannabis use. So... It didn't matter if they had other things in there. It still affected you, still affected you. And so that means that if you use weed and you stop it, you stay stupid. I'm just reading the data. That's not my opinion. That's what the data says. There's a long-term cognitive effect even after st stopping use. So recent cannabis use and brain activation. Those who recently used cannabis had lower activation during working memory and motor tasks. However, these effects didn't survive statistical correlation, meaning they're less conclusive than what we just talked about. The takeaway is recent cannabis use may temporarily impact cognition, but long-term memory, memory, um, mem long-term heavy use is more concerning. So like I said, if you sparked one doobie in college, you're probably all right. But if you were habitually using marijuana for years, that's when there can be issues with brain function. So there is no effect on other cognitive tasks. This is a good news. Good news for you potheads. Despite fears, it did not significantly affect other brain functions. Language, emotional processing, motor skills. So athletes, if you're okay not being as sharp up there, you're still going to be good catching that football. Okay, you're still going to be good. The main issue is reduced working memory function possibly due to long-term THC effects on your CB1 receptors. So why does this matter? Why? Well, brain changes are long-term. 
okay, this isn't one of those things you stop and it goes away, it reverses itself. It appears that the damage you do while smoking marijuana habitually damages you long-term. So the CB1 receptors affected by THC play a crucial role in memory and learning. Studies suggest that frequent use reduces the CB1 receptor density, which may impact cognitive performance. So tolerance and brain adaptation, long-term cannabis use may alter brain function in ways that do not fully reverse. It's irreversible damage, y'all, irreversible damage. So guys, if your kids are like, you're afraid your kids are going to smoke. Oh, everybody smokes weed. It's fine. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If your kid's habitually smoking weed every day before school, his entire high school career, that's four years. Let's say 300 days a year. That's 1200. Boom. That fits in that thousand time use. So that's why I say, hey, be honest with your kids. Talk about it. Don't just say marijuana is bad. Tell them the studies. Show them the study. Show them this video. I'm not even cursing. Show them this video. Show them this because I'm sure they don't want to be stupider. They're not going to look. There's plenty of look. My friend is Mensa and he smokes weed. Yes. But imagine how smart he'd be if we didn't smoke weed, right? It just doesn't, doesn't work out. So the caution for high performance athletes and professionals, if you need fast decision-making and memory recall, cannabis can impact your cognitive sharpness. Imagine you're a quarterback. Have you ever seen those plays they give in the NFL? Can you imagine a quarterback with impaired memory, impaired um, brain processing on that? He's like, okay, 42 slant, double B, right, blue, um, B gap, slant, hutch, switch, on two, ready, break. Good luck repeating that. Good luck repeating that. I don't care if they got the mics in the ears anymore. Good luck. The best strategy is always moderation or abstaining. Abstaining 100%, but also before your high performance situations. So if you're about to take a final exam in college, probably not a good idea to get high the night before. Don't do it. <laughs> so bottom, bottom line. Cannabis is not completely safe. Let's take apart the fact it's frequently smoked. Probably not a good thing, but it's probably not completely safe, especially if you use it often. Moderation, smoking weed once a week, once every other week when you're with the homies, probably okay. But again, it's like alcohol. If you like drinking alcohol because it makes you more social, it helps you, whatever. I don't drink, so I can't really speak to that. But a lot of people say, man, I'm not giving up alcohol. I don't care what it does because alcohol just is too much fun. It makes me just fun. I just got to have fun and ugly chicks look better. I'm like, Hey, if it's, it gives, if it gives you the ability to take a three and she looks like a 10 and you can get some by all means, bro, I'm not judging, but yeah. None is better than a, none is better than a little, a little is better than a lot. None is better than a lot. None is way better than any of those. Okay. Uh, sh uh, okay. Again, like, like we said before, short-term use, temporary reduction in cognition, heavy lifetime use. Yeah. That'll affect you completely. That'll just affect your brain function. If memory and focus matter to you, be mindful of your cannabis intake or just don't do it at all. So, the real science shows it's not harmless, so make informed choices. So um, that's the latest data on marijuana. I know it was a hot thing. I remember one time I did a video a while ago, and I was like, marijuana's not good, and people got really mad. They're like, well, the studies, the benefits, the this and that. There are benefits, dude. Glaucoma, cancer, pain mediation, great. But it does not come without risk. Anyway, guys, hopefully you like this video. Go to tigerfitness.com. That's tigerfitness.com. We do not sell weed, but we do sell Crea Pure Creatine. It is the other white powder, and it is so damn awesome. And unlike the stuff you buy on the streets cut with fentanyl, Crea Pure Creatine just contains creatine. No fentanyl at all. Okay, use coupon code MAHA, M-A-H-A, MAHA. That gets you 10% off unless we have a deal running. What I found out this weekend, we have a deal running. All coupon codes are cut off during deals because we would lose our butts because that'd be a hell of a discount. And of course, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell. And remember, boom, 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 boom. That's not a game. Are you currently taking LMNT for your electrolytes? That's great. 
Electrolytes are very important, especially for athletes. The problem is I think they took it a little too far. 1,000 milligrams of sodium per packet. That's great if you're an endurance athlete running in high temperatures, 100 plus. But if you're not perspiring that much, if you're not doing that much activity, if you're simply exercising, well, normally, it's a lot. You're looking at intake, you take a few packets, 10,000 milligrams of sodium a day. So what I like to do is I like to flavor all my water with electrolytes because electrolytes are vitally important and vitally important for you to intake. Now, what do I do? I take Ambrosia Hydroglyph. So Ambrosia Hydroglyph available in stick packs as well as bags. Now, it's beyond sodium, potassium, magnesium. It has other things that will help your body keep muscle and perform better. It has the essential amino acids. It has your branch chain amino acids. It has Velocitol, which doubles the power of those amino acids. It even has my HMB. So if you're really training hard, it staves off muscle loss. If you're looking for something well beyond the current electrolyte you're taking, something that won't overdo it, but give you everything needed to perform at your best and be as healthy as possible, Ambrosia Hydroglyph is your choice.